Hey guys, welcome to part one of building an HTML5 ad in Google Web Designer. I'm going to take you through how I built this ad as the process is surprisingly simple and creates an effective visual statement. So before I started building this ad in Google Web Designer, I mocked up a version of what it was going to look like in Photoshop. This is so I can easily export all the assets such as background, icons, logos, etc. all in one go and have it there ready to import into Google Web Designer when I need it. So first thing when starting a new project, you want to create a new file and save it to the appropriate folder. I saved mine into my local drive and called it Digital by Grizzly. I import my background assets and rename them to background and texture. And after that, I'll be creating my line animations. I simply click on the div tool and drag a shape of a line. Don't worry about getting the line where it's perfect in one go. You can always change the dimensions in the properties menu on the right. After building the main line and renaming it to mainline top, I duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J and rename the duplicated line to mainline bottom. Then I create four smaller lines that will sit on both sides of the main lines and rename them to align with their respective position. After building our lines, I'm going to start animating the main lines to get them into position. I select the two main lines, move the slider to half a second, then press F6 to keyframe them. I select the layer called main line top, I enter minus 50 in the Y axis, which pushes the line up, and do the same for the main line bottom, but type in 60 to push it down. Now we do the same with the sidelines. I reposition them so they sit on each side of the main lines. These will fade in after the main lines animate. Hot tip, by pressing F5 you can delete keyframes. So now I'm going to change the opacity of these lines so they fade in after the main lines animate. I put 0 in the fill box and make them disappear, and then I click on the second keyframe and type in 1 to make them reappear. After that, I will build and animate the top lines where the logo will appear. Now that I've repositioned the top lines to where I want them to end, I'm going to create two circles and place them at the edge of the lines.
animate these by clicking on the first keyframe and changing the fill to 0. And then in all three access points, I will scale them down to 0.001. By making them appear, I simply click on the second keyframe and change the fill and scale all back to 1. That's working great. Now to add the logo one. As you can see, the logo I imported was too big for where I wanted to sit, so I need to scale it down so it fits. I'll be using the same animating technique I used with two small circles. Now for the high level statement, I want this to fly in so I'll be using the scaling and fill option again. In the first keyframe, I change the fill to zero to make it invisible. In all three axes, I type in 10 to expand it. Now, in the second keyframe, I simply reverse what I did by adding the original values back in. That's looking great. And here's the end result for this part. In the next video, I'll show you how I built the remainder of the ad. You'll see how I created the carousel effect and button. I hope you enjoy watching this and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Thanks!